Last time I presented you how I use one of these Axis Advanced Fuselage. This one is a silly short and I cut it down by about 11 centimeters in order to make it more reactive, more maneuverable. I want to see how far could I push it, so I decided to do another design. So in this case, this is the new one. I really decided to remove all the part here in the rear rigid part of the fuselage in order to make it even more reactive. So the objective was to one, cut weight. So this removes about 150 grams, but also remove all that lateral kind of surface in order to make it more reactive, make it easier to twist around the mast. So in this case, it achieved the objective. It's a lot more nervous, a lot more maneuverable. It's easier to carve it. The downside, I went too far. The size of the stab is too small. The, the stiffness of my fuselage is not enough. So it's not stable enough. So if you compare in terms of the slab, you can see it's much smaller. This one's already a progressive 300 cut to 250 you see this one is much smaller. So this doesn't provide enough support. And the, the most important thing, you can see that here, the, uh, the stiffness of this plate is not enough. And I feel it when I ride. I feel a kind of wobbly feeling where I don't have that direct feel. So it makes me always have to, main, to be super vigilant when I ride in order to control the pitch. So in terms of twists, this is perfect. It, it really frees the movement, allow me to do sharp turn, but it doesn't give enough pitch stability. So if you look at uh, here in terms of the foil disassemble with the mass, it looks like this. Uh, you can see uh, here again with the mast, and an advantage, the whole thing assembled is about 2.3 kilogram, very interesting. However, it's not enough to really justify uh, it. So I'm still able to ride it. It does work, so I'm able to ride. On that day, it's about like 16, 17 knots. It's really flat water, so there's really not much wave. I could control it, but I assume that when it's gonna be much bigger waves, I'm not gonna be able to really push it as much as I want because this is not stiff enough. So I really have to work on it. The concept was to cut a slot here in my fuselage in order to insert that plate of carbon and fix it with a screw here that goes through the aluminum part here. So in terms of connection, this is very stiff. This works well, it's solid. I tested it, this is good enough. However, the plate I choose, I want to see how far could I push it. This is too much, okay? This is too flexible, too much a small stab. I'll have to revise my choice in order to have something that is stiffer, provide more support. I've already tried no stabs at all. I knew that this was too unstable. I wanted to see it between, behind, uh, between what I had before with this stab here and this. To what extent could I push it? Would this be too far? The answer, yes, it is too far. So I'll have to revise <coughs> Sorry, my design. I'll uh, use a, a thicker, uh, I'll use a thicker, I'll use a thicker uh, fuselage. So this one was a little less than three millimeter thick. This one is uh, about 4.3 millimeter. So there's a factor about 1.5 in terms of increase in thickness. And since this, the, the flexural stiffness goes with the cube of the height, so 1.5 power three, it's a little over a factor three in terms of stiffness. I gained by adding about a millimeter of thickness. So this is gonna be my next step. I'm gonna enlarge the slot I have in the fuselage here to fit this new one. And I'll add, I'll use the previous stab I was using that is fixed on that plate. So that I'm gonna keep the same length, about a total length of 45 centimeters, but I will use this one. Another thing I noticed is when I was riding, since this has a very neutral profile, I have a tendency when I go fast in order to, to kind of breach down. So uh, all of a sudden, I, the, the foil would lose lift and just dive down. I had many, many crashes. Uh, through the day, uh, but it was really worthwhile, okay? This, uh, I'm experimenting, I'm trying to push the boundary and explore what is possible, what is 
too much, what is too little. In that case, this provides too little support. So uh, I'll need to revise my design. Maybe this will come up as a good, uh, as a good solution. I'll see, I'll keep you posted.